What's everybody, Gamer for Life here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your own Minecraft hack client. So this is going to be a little series I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be trying to help people actually code a client for them to use so you don't have to go and, like, download the worst client or something off the internet. So there's, like, mostly two things you're going to need for this video. One, you're going to need some type of IDE. So that's basically going to be a Java programming tool. For this, I'll be using Eclipse. I highly recommend it. It's really easy to use, and I'm going to show you guys like how to go through it all. Next up, we're going to need uh, the actual Minecraft kind of... I don't know the proper wording for it. I'm going to call it the source file. So we can actually start making changes to it. So for this, we're going to need MCP. I'm going to be showing guys how to make it using MCP for Mod Coder Pack. I'll leave this link down in the description below. And you can make this for any uh, version of Minecraft you want. But for this tutorials, I'm going to be using it for Minecraft 1.8.8. Because this is the only Minecraft version I really know how to edit. So all you need to do is just click on mcp 918zip and let it load for a second and it will download. It's not a big file, it will be pretty quick. Now the next file we're going to download is completely optional, you don't have to download it if you do not want to. We're going to be doing, we're going to add, oh crap, we're going to add Optifine to the actual client. So since I'm doing 1.8.8. .8, when you come to this screen, you need to make sure you download the first version of 1.8.8. There is a newer one, but when you open it inside of Eclipse, there's just tons of errors and it's just too much of a hassle. This one will do just fine. So we're just gonna press download. I will also leave this link in the description. Now that we have both our files, we're just gonna go to our downloads folder. I'm gonna just move these to my desktop for now. Now, uh, so you're going to actually want a folder that will hold your client before you export it. So just make a new folder, call it whatever you want. I'll name this one Xeon. Why not? Uh, I'm actually going to change it. So it says Xeon 1.8.8 .8, and I'm going to take it into here. So I have made a couple clients. I made a cr one called Crypt and one called Phantom. And Phantom's the newest one, and I'm going to be copying a lot of my coding from that client into these tutorials for you. Uh, crap. So anyways, open up that folder you just made. You want to find MCP918 and open it. And you're going to drag... Nope, don't want to buy one more. You want to drag all the files into the folder you just created. Now give it a sec to extract. And bam, we have everything. Now that we have extracted, we can delete that raw file. And inside of the folder you just made, there's tons of files. It looks really complicated, but don't worry, we're not going to be messing with any of these files, really. So right now, all we want to do is run the decompile.bat. This is going to decompile the Minecraft 1.8 jar file. It's going to get all the like assets, as you can see, and all of the source files that actually make up Minecraft. This should take anywhere like 5 to 10 minutes, depending on the speed of your computer. So I will just come back when it's done. So I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so I kind of made a mistake. I like this already finished and stuff, and I accidentally pressed cancel recording. So I had to go back through and completely redo it. Anyways, once it's done, you'll it should look like this. Press any key to continue, just press space or whatever. And I actually did end up changing the name since I had to redo it all. Anyways, continuing on, the Optifine, you're going to extract it, the RAR file, of course. We're going to open it up, and the Assets, Net, and Optifine folder, you just want to copy. You can do this by pressing Control c or right-click and copy. Now we're going to go into your hack client, go Source, Minecraft, and then press Control v or right-click and paste. It will paste all those files in, and you want to replace the files in the destination. Bam, you're all set up. Now let's just open up Eclipse and actually make sure that it decompiled correctly. So when you open up Eclipse, you'll get this pop-up. It's going to uh, ask you for the directory. We're going to just press browse and find where your client is. For me, this is I decided to name it Paradox. 
So we're going to open it, and you want to press on the Eclipse folder, and then you're going to press Select Folder, and then Launch. This will open up the Paradox, or whatever your client name is, a directory. And I, when you open it, you'll know it worked correctly, because you'll see Client and Server over here. Server should have a big red exclamation mark, and yeah. So I do not like the way that, uh, Eclipse currently looks, so I'm going to change a few things. You can do it with me. So first, I'm just going to X out of those two side panels. I'm going to come here to these three dots, package, presentation, and change it. Now, something you do have to do is right click on server and delete. We're deleting the server folder because we're not actually making anything for the server. It's going to be completely for the client. It's a hack client. So next, we're going to go to window, preference. This is completely optional. I prefer it but we're gonna go to general appearance and change the theme to dark. As you can see, it will change it black. A restart is required for the theme to, bleh, for the theme change to take full effect. We will do that in a second. This next one is kind of mandatory. It doesn't happen for everyone, but from what I could tell, if you have the newest version of Eclipse, it does make you do this. But you wanna press on Java, Editor, Content Assist, advance and you want to find java pro java proposals in the box down here and enable it and press apply and apply and close now we have to restart eclipse so let's just relaunch it real quick and when you do it the directory will save so all you have to do is press launch when you load up eclipse now to test to see if everything's working we're going to press the run button up here you can do run or debug I will leave in the description the difference between them, but anyways, we'll just press run for now to make sure it's all working. And yeah, uh, it looks like it is working properly because we did everything right. So it will load up Minecraft. You, uh, you can't actually play on any servers right now because we don't have it set up like that, but uh, I don't know which video I will do it in, but I will make it so we can. Anyways, just the test, we are going to go in the single player. Alright, so now that we're in single player, if you press C, yep, you should be able to zoom it. That means Optifine's working. Okay. And I'm actually going to just change a few settings to how I like it when I play Minecraft. Because I'm going to be stuck here for a couple weeks showing you guys how to do this. So let's just change the buttons. And when you scroll down, you'll see zoom. That's the key that, well, you press to zoom in. I'm gonna change it to my left alt. I think it's just smoother than pressing C. I'm actually gonna use C for a shortcut for a mod later on. But yeah, as you can see, it's just normal Minecraft right now. Like you can build and everything, pretty easy. Now, that's all I'm gonna show you guys in this video. I just wanted to actually set up the workstation and show you guys that it's working. Now, I think in the next video, I'm gonna be uh, we're gonna set up the module system so we can actually um, start making modules. Uh, when I say modules, I mean mods. So when I say module, I mean like hack, like Kill Aurora or Flying or Fulbright. You get what I mean. Anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching. That will be all for this video. If you did like and you want to see more of this, make sure you leave a like, subscribe. Leave a comment down below telling me what type of modules you would like me to make in the future, and maybe I'll get to it. But for now, I'm signing off. See y'all later.